The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me. And of course, it doesn't matter where me is as long as you are with us at this time, the appointed time, the magical time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And, uh, well, what can you say? We had a, a little pop this morning. Never really understood uh, the idea on it. Uh, in the newsletter this morning, I compared it to finding out that you'd lost uh, your leg. And uh, it was above the knee a little bit or just below the knee by a couple of inches. Does it really matter? Um don't think so. I think I would be equally in despair either way. But, of course, uh, a lot of people were, wow, you know, you only lost half a leg uh, with that uh, inflation data. But, uh, eh, kind of giving it all back up. Um, didn't think there was a lot going on here. I don't think that there's, well, at least options, market makers. Um, I haven't looked at it, but I'll run it during the next break. But uh, earlier in the day, they're basically thinking about what I said last Friday and into Monday, and that is somewhere between 4400 and 4450-ish. We'll see if those things, uh, they'll probably tomorrow or by tomorrow morning, they'll be very firm, and we probably won't have a lot of action in the indexes. Uh, all the action will be in individual stocks. Pneumonia. <laughs> uh, I... I just, you know, when I, I tuned in just to hear it, to see what the reaction was. And, oh, wow, the core is not, uh, uh, the core in, uh, inflation is not anywhere close to where we thought it was. And I thought, that's like telling people that, you know, the plane ticket really wasn't that expensive if you didn't count in all the other stuff that had to go in on my trip. Um yeah, maybe the plane trip isn't, but if you spend five grand and, and the ticket was two fifty, you got it on sale for fifty, but you still spent five grand. Is that really a big deal? Yeah, maybe fifty bucks. You know, I'll take it, but I'm not going to write home about it. And uh, just being a slightly lower outside the core, uh, where the core is, where everybody is complaining and thinking about. So I am unsure what they were drinking or smoking. It's almost 420, isn't it? Uh, is uh, all about, but uh, certainly I'm kind of thinking that maybe there's a little bit of dementia in the market. I call it being manic depressive. And, you know, it just seems like they're grasping at anything for a sign of good news. I just haven't seen it. Anyway, uh, give me a call a day. It's been far too long since I've had a phone call. 877-927-6648. And if you live in Lutz, 877-927-6648. Uh, other things, what else? Uh, does the market historically go up from the Easter holiday? We see a significant bounce. Um, I'm not looking for one. But over the next couple of days, we're going to get a much better signal. Um, I think next week, a good decision on that is probably going to be Thursday's close. Uh, as I said yesterday, if we go up on a lighter volume, then that's probably fairly bearish. If we go down on lighter volume, that's probably a little bit bullish. If we just go sideways... All this is is probably consolidation in a continuing down move. As I've said before, I'm waiting for that retest of 4110, 4107, 
4115, whatever on the S&P cash. I just don't think that we get that tomorrow or on Thursday. I think um, maybe by the first week of May, we could certainly see it. Uh, things continue to spin out of control. We have a government uh, that is, uh, I'm going to say, feckless. Uh, hopefully that's the right word. I'm going to have to go look that back up and make double darn tootin'. That means what I think. Uh, impotent. That's probably a better word. Anyway, uh, for the uh, causes of massive inflation uh, that all root back into energy, I don't see that changing. Uh, they've decided to go down with that ship in the elections this fall, so we shall see. But in the meantime, I don't see any reason to think that uh, any major pullback uh, in energy is probably a reason to buy, at least in crude, for the summer. And by midsummer, I suspect uh, we'll see another rally uh, all the way into Christmas on natural gas. But uh, just very interesting to see uh, our national leaders. Uh, we had one uh, who uh, will remain nameless, but uh, I always thought he kind of looked like Lurch. He was over in Japan telling him not to buy any of our natural gas because we didn't want to export any. Um, I'm just I'm flabbergasted. I'm speechless on at least our energy policy. But uh, hey, maybe someone can call in and explain it to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just doesn't pass the common sense smell test on uh, that. Anyway, uh, 877 Email me at path at tfnn.com. Um, but one of the good things to think about is uh, what I talk about occasionally, and that is three-day weekends give a lot of people at an opportunity to think a little bit more and trade a little bit less. And not always the direction, but the character of the market tends to change. If uh, you're straight up and straight down, uh, it tends to get uh, uh, very uh, uh, chaotic. And if it's been chaotic after a three-day weekend, you tend to see a market that tends to get kind of the rule of alternation, i.e. Uh, chaotic into something that's kind of smooth and predictable. Maybe not if you're looking at it in five-minute bars, but maybe if you were looking at it in daily bars, they look, yeah, that's a nice little trend up and that's a nice little trend down. Uh, but uh, so we shall see. Uh, another question is uh, – about uh, to, to what else do we have? Anyway, uh, let's wait for Wednesday, Thursday close uh, to see whether we'd have a big bounce next week. I do not think so. I think we're going to continue to, uh, at the moment, uh, continue to grind sideways if we're lucky. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're bearish, I mean bullish, you probably want the market go down a little bit on no volume into Thursday's close. Uh, to, to, what do you think? Uh, Nougat pucks. Uh, NUDT pulls back here before possibly moving higher. Okay. How much time? We don't. We have enough time. Okay. When we return, we'll talk about gold. Uh, we'll get into our. <laughs> uh, we'll get into our uh, history. And then we'll get into some charts and questions that are pouring in at path, pfnn.com. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. In the Tigers Den trading room, a uh, little nod to Mr. Lurch. I was more of a Munsters fan, 1313 Mockingbird Lane is where I always wanted to live. But uh, eh, we all have our dreams. Uh, anyway, uh, down nine now on the S&P cash. But, you know, we didn't have much volume earlier in the day, about 7.2 Billion shares now, so I'm not seeing a lot. A uh, question on the NUG, on the NUG man, on the NUGT, the gold miners uh, 2X. Um, with gold up, not doing much, uh, is holding on the highs. My guess is it's probably going to go sideways a little while and then uh, probably uh, 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 break through the resistance that is. This gap is at 78 bucks. Um, let's see where we have. Uh, that gap goes back to a gap down with 2.7 million shares. You had 8 million shares in the spike on what was that? On the 8th of March. So it's not bad. You've got enough volume from that spike there. You're kind of coming back up. But uh, my guess is this thing just probably sits sideways. Uh, and one day we're just going to wake up and it'll be up and above the 78. Next stop, 85, where we have a gap that goes back. Where else is that here? Uh, a little farther, apparently. Let's see. Um, and I would always have looked at this one as the better of the gaps. This is a double gap going back to a gap up on November 5th of 2020. You get two days above it, and then you get a huge gap down on volume, almost 5 million shares. Uh, so that is the line in the sand, uh, the sort of Ga uh, Damocles hanging over our heads. But that's where big resistance would be in the Nug Man, in UGT. I, mean, I, I just thought of that during the break because uh, I can't remember. Uh, it had to be on Miami Vice where they had one of the comedic relief characters was known as the Nug Man, and that was always stuck with me. 
okay. Question in here about uh, uh, Metamucil, uh, Metamucil verse uh, with the Facebook, D Facebook, or Metamucil, however you want to talk about it. Uh, man, I, there may I've I've probably heard it three times this week. Uh, Zuckerberg being mentioned in the same sentence with Hitler. Uh, for levels of evil, so not a uh, probably not a good place to be. Um, you again, I'm thinking all this stuff comes back and retests the lows, probably sooner rather than later. But uh, you've got that low at 186 ish. If you can make a trade out of that, I think it's okay. Uh, it may take a little longer than you think because this one gave up the ghost or a whole lot of it, but. Uh, uh, Short? No, because I, at least for my risk reward, if I've got a double gap, uh, I generally wait for that gap to get hit and then see whether I want to go short. So just on a risk reward basis, um, face could, Facebook, uh, Metamucil could come back down to 80, 185, but I would want to be short at about 260. They see that big double gap after the big long gap, generally, they even in a, if it takes a while to get back up there, that's probably the next part where you want to get. And that would be a fairly large ABC on the way down. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, especially young kids just do not want to be on the Metamucil. Uh, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com, as many, many attractive people do. Okay. And Basil has his webinar tomorrow at 4 p.m. That's nice. And what else do we have here? Okay, we got that. And we haven't talked about history. So let's do a little history, and then we'll move on to the rest of our charts. And it's all just a little bit of history repeated. On this day in 1981, NASA launches the first space shuttle mission, STS-1, sending the Columbia on its maiden voyage. This mission intended to prove the feasibility of the space shuttles and specific and reusable spacecraft in general. Originally set to launch on April 10th, problems delayed the launch by two days, which caused the launch to occur exactly 20 years after Yuri Gagarin became the first man to fly in space and the first spaceman to be killed by the Soviet Union uh, for, uh, let's say, mm, expressing his free speech beliefs. Uh, he was uh, got drunk. They put him in a car and drove him off a hill, uh, at least the popular lore. And the documents uh, tend, uh, after the Berlin Wall fell, do tend to, uh, to say that. The Nug Man. <laughs> okay, we got somebody who remembers the Nug Man, too. I forget what his... Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, Noogie. Yeah, that's who it was. Comic relief for uh, for Miami Vice all these years later. Uh, anyway, uh, of course, uh, the space shuttle uh, was uh, never really meant to fly. It was a giant lie concocted by NASA because they were afraid that the military would take over all uh, space flight uh, after the moon landing. So they came up with this and then lied by a factor of four at the cost of each shuttle mission. Uh, and, of course, uh, we can see that uh, all these years later, eh, we're right back to uh, what the military thought was the cheapest way to fly, uh, reusable launch vehicles, but uh, not reusable uh capsules, that kind of stuff, second, third story, stage stuff, but uh, always a good story in there when it comes to money and spending for the government. But, uh, eh, what can you say? Uh, we learned a lot, and mostly what we learned is space shuttles are enormously expensive and uh, troublesome. 877 Okay, what else do we have? Okay, more out here. Let's go uh, to 
Oh, I got to get another chart back up here. Uh, question about the Starbucks. Uh, that's BU, right? Star. That's Bucks, right? And, of course, uh, coming off the bench after many years in retirement, the new CEO, as I said, uh, decided to uh, eh, just give a raspberry to everybody that wanted to see the company turn around uh, by throwing a huge amount of money away. Uh, investors were unimpressed. Uh, the only good thing is that we are coming back down into this previous low so far with about half the volume. So, yeah, could you find a low? Yes. Am I buying it? No. We'll talk more about it when we return. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers as well as tfnn's tiger den trading room trading software and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return uh, again, uh, just because you're done going down does not mean you're going up. Uh, I think that there's a very good chance that we just kind of consolidate around these lows. And just like uh, gold's probably, or the nugget, is probably going to just hang around there at the highs and then jump up and bust through uh, uh, resistance at the highs. I suspect that we're going to, as Wyckoff called it, 
breakthrough ice, which is support, kind of like being out there on the lake and just hopping until you break through. Uh, I kind of think that's where it is. Now, I could be changed over the next couple of days, depending on market action. But at the moment, about all I can think about is that. And that is there probably isn't a lot left in the tank. Um, probably just be happy if we don't go higher. I mean, uh, don't go lower uh, by Thursday's close. We could just dribble down out there. Uh, we did cover uh, positions in all the newsletters where I was short um, for today. Mostly because we got to all my targets, so I went ahead and took the money. I wasn't going to get, uh, wasn't going to get piggy, as they say out there. Bulls make money, and bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. Uh, wasn't going to be an oinker out here, but uh, yeah, we're pretty much within uh, probably, I think, five percent of the lows at yesterday's close. So that we're down just a little. Uh, probably not a lot. Uh, 399.53 on the S&P cash. I was kind of joking yesterday. In the Tiger's Den, there's a TV series, which I never watched, some kind of sci-fi thing. I just remember it was called the 4400. So I put that in there as a meme, as your meme master, uh, in the den yesterday. But we've got it now. Um, but everything tells me, even if it's on light volume, we're going to, over time, probably first week or so of May, maybe second week, be back down at 4107 to 4115, depending on how you do your math. But uh, good enough for government work. Um, anyway, uh, we were looking at Starbucks. Got some more emails here. Let's go through them. And waiting for a call. I know you're on the line. Uh, ask me anything. We've got a lot of stuff going on here today, and I'll try to answer it. Okay. And see. Okay. The first one was, what does spies look like? I just re-ran uh, the uh, options. That's kind of what they look like right now for the options curve. Um, there's a nice little hook there right at 440. So, you know, can you get into that for the daytime? You can. But I'm suspecting, you know, you got uh, 438.08. I'm suspecting that uh, Thursday at the close that we probably hang on to 440. Uh, and uh, kind of at the high end of that range would be 442-ish. So... We're kind of right in that now. We've kind of broken through it, but there's not a lot of volume, not a lot of gusto. So I'm looking for tighter ranges over the next couple of days. Why I did not reshort this morning. I didn't think there was a lot more going on there. Okay, other questions. Uh, you talked about Boeing and that plane crash. Uh, anything more going to happen with them in China from Don? And uh, I was pretty sure... Um, from the places that I read, uh, that uh, there wasn't going to be a lot about it. Um, you, I do want a retest of 167.58 before I would get long in Boeing, and that has to be on lighter volume, too. So yesterday's 7.5 million shares is not too bad compared to the almost 14 million shares we saw previously, but we still have another 5 bucks to go. Now back on the China thing, uh, are they not going to buy our planes? Uh I'm pretty sure that that was a suicide. What was that, a week ago now? Ten days ago, something like that. Uh, the reason why is China wouldn't let us anywhere near the plane. And China has a very interesting cockpit voice recorder uh, in that it uploads all the time in real time the cockpit voice recorder. So they heard what was going on in that cockpit probably an hour after the plane crashed. So they're probably in a lot of mystery, and they kept us far away from it. They're only letting, letting the NTSB uh, over there now, which, and actually when they said that they now, they really meant five days from when they said that, which was like yesterday or the day before. So they're not just saying, come, come on over now. They're saying, well, you come on over in about a week, which kind of makes me think it. And of course, uh, the co-pilot used to be a, pilot that got drummed down 
to being a co-pilot for acting up and they were going to fire him. Uh, you start seeing a lot of clues out here that just says that was a suicide. Uh, if it was the uh, pl plans that are problems that planes have had before, you don't go straight down because the plane won't do that. You've got to hold the stick straight down uh, to do that and not break the plane up and all four corners were there. So my guess is you don't hear another peep about this ever because the Chinese probably don't want to say that one of their pilots flew the, the plane in. And that's probably what? four or five major ones in the last 20, 25 years of pilot suicides. Um, and probably the biggest one was uh, a guy that tried to uh, take over and crash a FedEx plane. And uh, he uh, mauled three other uh, pilots on the plane. Um, I don't think any of them were able to fly. They were so beaten up and uh, had to have uh, surgery and stuff. That guy is in jail for the rest of his life. It's not as uncommon as you might think. Uh, da, 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 okay. Let's see if anything else. So you think uh, 4400 for today for a close? Yes. And I think probably, you know, anywhere from 4400 uh, to maybe 4425 ish uh, over the next couple of days. Now, if we get some bad news, the market is weak. But uh, if we just go sideways, uh, all we could be doing is just building up steam to blow through that next week. I am not, uh, uh, as like I said, for probably two weeks now, I am extremely bearish. Um, doesn't mean we won't have bounces and there won't be times to cover as I did at the close yesterday. But uh, since I had puts, really am I trying to hold out for less next two or three percent which i may have gotten today uh after and try to give up a hundred percent or more on some of those uh, options no i'm not going after the last five percent uh tom had a guy on and i don't remember his name now i think he was only on a couple of times as a guest host uh who uh and i it was probably the most important lesson i learned about selling when you can although I heard that saying a little bit later when I ran into a gentleman that I traded with uh, who went by the non de plume of a jaded bear who uh, worked on the floor, saw some of my work on options, and uh, we got to work together. Uh, but, uh, and we'll continue this story on the other side. But I think it's well worth repeating on kind of a quiet day out here. Again, you can call me at 8779 or email me at Pat. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Turn, uh, Rhonda wants to know about Twitter and whether or not there's anything to get here. Uh, Musk is going to go all in on this. Of course, uh, a lot of people were debating on why he didn't join the board. We kind of now know uh, through some of his cryptic treats, uh, treats or tweets, uh, his tweets uh, that uh, what they wanted to do was put him on the board so they could silence him when he got a copy of what he could and could not say as a board member. Uh, he said, uh, hasta la vista. And uh, that was pretty much it. So uh, the question is now, does he sell his stake or does he buy, which uh, uh, some people with very sharp pencils got in and buy controlling interest, which only takes about 15%. Um, and we'll find out, but uh, yeah, he could just probably throw everybody off. And my guess is uh, uh, with 15 percent, uh, just uh, use uh, their own weapon uh, against them uh, or another one. But, uh, yeah, I, I have a feeling that the board's going to have a very tough time and the CEO probably not long for this world uh, as they continue down the same road of failure uh, that they've been on for a while. And, of course, you don't have a lot of volume out here. People starting to think that Musk will buy the uh, another 6% that he actually needs to gain uh, pretty much total control um, and move everybody else out. And I think a lot of people that are in it now would be more than glad to get their 45 bucks out of it uh, and move on to somewhere else, not to be bothered by him or the uh, ill-functioning management of Twitter. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Ta -ta. Okay, we got that. We got that. Let's see. Uh, SCX. What's going on with those? Let's take a quick look. Uh, you pulled back. Yeah, let's go to a little smaller one. You, I mean, you've got some... Lighter volume highs out here. I think you're going to have to consolidate it out for a while. On the January 18th high, you had 26 million shares. You had 25 million shares on March 5th or March 4th at uh, $50.46. Then you had 18 million shares on March 25th. Um, so, yeah, you're back into the trading range. You're going sideways. Ideally, although you may not get it, if it would go to 45 bucks where that gap is, is most likely support uh, for that. So I kind of like that. If it got there, not saying it will, could just go sideways uh, and gain some more steam to go trade, tra uh, try for a higher one. But you on this uh, third really 
push higher for a new high. Uh, it ran out of steam, and it just may be market conditions that make this thing problematic. And, you know, this is when you've got stocks that are hot that will pull back. Uh, and when you find a low, 45 bucks may seem like quite the deal on FCX. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Take a quick look at the XLE. Yeah, probably every pullback on energy is a buy. Uh, you just still don't have much in the way of volume. 26 million shares two days ago into 100 million share spike. Uh, again, a lot of these stocks, both on top and the bottom, do start to look like Wyckoff patterns. Uh, that is coming up to what he would call uh, ice uh, and uh, breaking through ice. I'll have to go back and look at those patterns now. Uh, jumping the creek is what he would call it at the highs, which is uh, uh, kind of getting ready and you're going, eh, I'm okay over here. But, and then, of course, breaking through ice is on the downside. But jumping the creek, it just looks like these things may need a little bit more juice and time to get ready. I thought that it was going to take probably 14 days off the top of crude prices probably to set up the next rally attempt you had kind of a smaller one today uh, in the xle but my guess is you may have yet another week as i said i think probably what's going to happen or what i uh, am hallucinating right now and again i trade like i'm driving in fog which is i'm not going to outdrive my headlights and all the cars in front of me thinking i can see as far as i think i can see but uh, ideally, you'd like to see this stuff pull back with light volume, I think, in about the first week of May. And if you got a nice pullback on light volume back then, that kind of lines up with a low in the markets, uh, I think. And that may be the next big rally. You'd still be able to make money uh, over a couple of days in uh, energy. But uh, I think when we're talking about the big kind of moves with life-changing money, it's probably going to take a little bit uh let's take a look at the spies as i said uh 4400 for the close today we'll see how close we are for that but my guess is that's probably fairly close and you've got a nice gap there at about 44 uh, four, uh 442 and 50 cents yeah i'm kind of thinking that we could get up there before the end of the week on thursday and not do much uh, but go up on light volume, especially into the close on Friday. See, the last two short sellers uh, give up on that. And then Monday uh, next week, start heading back down for these high volume lows. Um, you never really tested that February 24th low in the spies that had a lot of volume. You got mostly into it with 165 million shares, but you didn't break it. Uh, and, you know, you want to, you know, if it would have gone to the same volume but missed by a few pennies or even a buck, I may have given it to the spies. But uh, experience says, especially in a dour market, that you probably want to see the lows actually tested. So what do you get? Uh, 25 points lower still? Is that 20? Uh, 20, yeah, 25. Yeah, almost 30 in the spies possible before we find some kind of low uh okay please restate your fundamental factor rather uh, uh, rationalization for the decline back into uh, early may just generally when i've seen markets that have been weak you generally either rally into may or you sell into may in that first week and it, i mean how many times have i seen that first week of May be the de facto standard uh, of uh, giving up the ghost uh, from uh, the financial collapse. I want to say 2000, May 5th of 2008. Um, but uh, I think, you know, it was late March, I think in 2000 off the dot com high, it failed a little earlier. But you tend to have kind of a, even in a down market, a little pulls up. And then summer comes uh, and people start looking at it and they sell, sell, sell. 
in a bay. That's one part of it. The other one is high volume loads that have not been tested. So do that. Be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we get ready to wrap up a really big show, uh, we continue to see uh, stocks kind of come down. Um, and even the big ones, Microsoft, uh, Apple still could be 165. Uh, we'll take a look at that next. But uh, at least for the big ones in the, in the queues like Microsoft and Apple, uh, a little lower on Microsoft, although it tried to get back up to this gap. Uh, that goes back to, what is that, uh, to the 16th of March. Um, tried to get back into that, kind of rolled back down. Um, you know, you're not doing bad out here. We'll see. Um, March 8th on Microsoft's at 270, 48 million share low. You only have 22 million shares. But uh, I think uh, you could get down to 272, maybe 275-ish. Take a quick look at Apple. It, uh, at least from options, looked kind of like the weaker of the two, but actually holding up a little bit better out here now. Uh, last close, 167. 
Uh, did I actually have that up there? I did. Let's take a quick look at the options on it and draw them. Come on. I know you can. Nope. Come on. Ah, there we go. Um, I mean, at best, 170. But, uh, yeah. I mean, ideally, 165 kind of just sticks out there. So probably the most 167.50 to 165-ish for Thursday's close. Again, uh, short and weak. Options expiration is on Thursday, so maybe we'll have a little more action than I think. But uh, wouldn't be surprised if all the action comes tomorrow. We have a very quiet Thursday. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back 